Hello everybody, what is up? My name is Neon Affinity and today we are back for another episode of Terraria Calamity Death Mode Flamethrower Playthrough. Now today we are going to be taking down the Aquatic Scourge and the Aquatic Scourge will give us a flamethrower. So you know what that means? We need to get this goddamn flamethrower. Now I don't believe I actually have any seafood on me. No, I don't. So we're going to have to grab some resources for that. Shouldn't take too much time. But while I'm actually grabbing these resources, I just want to tell you guys that only a small percentage of you are actually subscribed. I know, right? It's mad. <laughs> so if you have not subscribed already, please do so. It helps out the channel so, so much. And now is literally a really good time to subscribe because the Calamity 1.4.5 Dredon update is coming and I'm going to be covering everything when it comes out so you best believe you best believe that I'm going to be uploading like crazy when that comes out there is no release date sadly I have done a trailer breakdown just like you know just like all your favorite movie channels <laughs> that do trailer breakdowns Oh dear. But I tried to get as much out of it as possible. So if you have not seen that, then please go and see that. Or if you're coming from the, from that video to here, welcome. Welcome to the channel. Post Twins Bag. I've not done many of these, but I doubt they are uh, useful. Ooh, hello, Siren. Guys, should we do... Should we test? See how good we are against Anahita? Okay. This ain't an official boss fight, though. But I can barely melt the shield. Never mind kill Anahita, Jesus Christ. Oh, God. Oh, <laughs> what have I done? What have I done? What, have I, what if I use the Meow Thrower? What, what then? Oh, God, that's still quite bad. You know what? Just TP me home. I've got all I need anyways. <laughs> I, I, I'm just too underpowered for that. Now, I believe... Pirates? Oh, hell no. Where's the abomination? Where is he? Abomination? Hello, hello, hello. There you are. Please, cancel. Thank you. Jesus. Don't want that. Okay, let's go to the... Sulfur boy. And just grab some sulfurous sand, you know. Do some... Oh, my. Uh, guys. Is this what I'm... Is this what I'm cursed to? Eternal events? Just no peace. No peace and quiet. Please. Can I have peace and quiet, please? I'm going to have to go back to the abomination, but guess what? I believe... The guy's on a cooldown. For God's sake. <laughs> oh, dear. Let's make some seafood, shall we? One should be enough. Hopefully. Uh, abomination. What? Well, watch. Watch, watch, watch. Watch. Abomination, hello. You know. 50. Oh, okay. I only have to wait a minute. So, yeah, I mean... I'm going to go off and build the arena, and I just might as well do the countdown now. So I'm going to fight the Aquatic Scourge in 3, 2, 1.
There we go. Jesus. That came close at some point. And we didn't even get the freaking flamethrower. Oh, you're joking. Oh. I just don't do enough damage, guys. That's. I just need that new flamethrower. I need one that doesn't have literally like rains hellfire on them. I need some like piercing stuff. So I'm gonna now have to farm the aquatic scourge for this new flamethrower. Wonderful. But anyways, let's turn on Snatcher, my farming helper. And let's get to work, shall we? We might as well just see what we can do. Okay. Already I'm getting way more damage. Way more damage. Look at this. Yes, I may be just headbutting him, but... Come on. Actually, let's see what the Breath of Glaciers would have done. See, it's just not enough damage. Uh, it's just not damaging enough, look. Plus, I would prefer this. Ah, oh, dear Aquatic Scourge, what have you done? You've made this game hard. <laughs> oh, dear. But anyways, I'll be back when I have this freaking flamethrower. We got it, we got it, we got it. Ocean Scalder. Okay. Oh, please. Oh, it's... Uh, oh, no. Don't tell me it's such short range. Oh, my God. This is... This this range. Oh. Oh. <laughs> short range blast of powerful acidic flames. Okay. Okay. Short range. How, how short range are we talking here? And how powerful exactly? Okay... Okay. Mm, I don't know about this one, guys. I don't know about this one. I mean, I, I think I have to use it, though. For the simple reason being, Meow Thrower is not powerful enough. Um, though it may scald water, it does not compare to the flames of the Brimstone Witch. What does that mean? Scowl herself? It's doing alright damage, but don't forget, though, the Aquatic Scourge is hitting me, and I have increased thorns due to Snatcher, lovely boy. So, you know, the damage may be exaggerated a bit. I mean, it's alright. Of course, Luxor's Gift really does help. That's why I have Luxor's Gift on, because it's basically allowing me to just be ranged here. But, all in all, I would say this is an alright flamethrower. It's probably one that I'm going to have to use next time until I can get, you know, the, the friggin' regular flamethrower. Or at least just get some upgrades somehow. But anyway, guys, that is it for this episode. If you have enjoyed, please do smack a like on it and subscribe because only a small percentage of you are. Thank you all so much for tuning in. I will see you all on the next one. Stay inside, stay safe, wash them hands. I'm going to kill this aquatic scourge now. Bye. And stay awesome, guys. Oh, he's dead. <laughs>